Well, Air Canada has decided to push our flight back 19 hours, which is amazing because Graham has to work tomorrow and I have no shortage of things to catch up on. That said, we can't dwell on it and uh, we're gonna make the best of it. So, let's see what happens today in Kelowna. Okay, we got the room changed and adjusted. Now we need to find something to do. I know it's gonna start with breakfast, so we'll start, uh, start with that. Same room. Same room. We saved the day with some Starbucks. Yep. All things considered, yeah. there's probably worse places to be stuck. There, yes. Like, Air Canada is trash, though. Where'd yeah. the duck go that was down there? Oh, he's over there. He's just playing over there. Hey. How much do you think that boat is right there? That boat is... I would say two to two and a half million. Million? Yeah. Million. 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 How big is it? I would probably guess that we're a little far away to tell for sure, but I would say that 12 foot Zodiac beside it probably ballparks that mini yacht at about 36 feet. Oh my God. That's what she said. <laughs> well, like, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but over there, that 23 foot wake boat looks tiny compared to that. And that boat is smaller than that boat. Well, you think we should go explore Kelowna somewhere? Let's go explore. Okay. Nothing better to do. Yeah, right. So for those unaware of this beautiful area is McKinley Beach. There's McKinley Landing over there. We're gonna go check out it next, I think. And uh, see what we can get into. This beautiful area of Kelowna, the Okanaga Valley, is McKinley Landing, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's a bit more of a mature neighborhood, but it's nice. Water here blows my mind. Crystal clear, always calm. But, uh, yeah. Let's just see what else we can find. What a trip what a in trip. Kelowna without coming to see Supercar Spencer, Mike Hall, and Matt August. Let's go see what kind of shenanigans we can get into at August today. Ooh, there's a nice non-LP Gallardo. That's nice. Matt says we can drive the R8. Where's... Hey, Spencer, Spencer, hey. Hey, what's up? How are you, man? I'm not too bad, man, how are you? Good. Hey, listen, it's good to see you. Matt says I can drive that, so you gotta get a plate for it. Drive this? This one right here. Matt says so. Because I'm stuck here, so. <laughs> All, right. All right, awesome, yeah. man, let's get it done. Yeah, and then he said I could drive the Matt uh, SV2. If that's what he said. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> Go up the top down. Top down, absolutely. Thank you. Hey, is this similar to the Huracan where we're gonna be, I'm going to be able to fit in it? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Hey, I won't fit in that uh, non-LP Gallardo, will I? Uh, probably. You might be able to with the roof off. Yeah, but like no leg room, right? <laughs> no leg room. What, what about Graham? He's a little bit shorter than I am. Uh, you're about my height. Yeah, you'll probably be okay. Okay, yeah. I put see? the seat all the way back in those things. Okay, so well, I appreciate you'll, it. You'll see. Thank you. Is this not your dream to get in an R8? Uh, not a convertible. Oh, well, you know. Like when I come to Kelowna and knock at a car? Kelowna 4.0? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this calls for? What does this call for? Actually, I need a bottle of water. But you know what else this calls for? Starbucks? A montage. A montage. Hey. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. And a lot of car for the money. How much was this car? 139. 139. That's, That's it. That's a lot of car. And let me tell you one thing. Actually, you know what I like? This is like the LP Gallardo, these taillights in back then. I don't know if you knew that. It's pretty similar. You know what I like about this car compared to a Huracan? What? Not one, but two cup holders and cruise control. And it's not uncomfortable. Very comfortable. We drove all the way down here and it was so nice. But you know what? I saw something there that is uncomfortable, has no ABS, has no cup holders, and has no cruise control. What was that? I'm going to show you. So out of the comfort creatures, one of the things I dig about this car, Graham? Yep. I think this is really cool. This handle, how it's carbon like that, it comes down. I think it's really, it's different from the other side because it has to wrap around the vent. Right. And stuff. So, you ready to go? Let's go. Car? Uncomfortable? Let's go. 
Cruise control? Yeah. All right. Ugh. I'm not buying anything. Or an RS3. What's that? Or an RS3. You want an RS3, Spencer will find you an RS3. We should talk to Spencer about an RS3. Let's go talk to him right now. Let's go right now. More uncomfortable, and maybe we'll use Matt's Urus after. I'll ask him. More uncomfortable than the last car, shifts harder, and no cup holders or cruise control or ABS. You ready? Let, I gotta get the plate off the other car first. Come over Let here. Let me guess. No, you're not guessing. <laughs> Matt, you look good in this. Thank you. You should just buy it. Oh, you sold it. Oh, you sold it. <laughs> yeah. What a champ. Ready for this? I'm ready. Hey, it's awesome, Dawson. <laughs> I know what we're driving. Do you? Yeah. Or there's a plate on it. Hey, Dawson. Yeah. He gave me this plate to put on his car, but there is a plate on here. What's this one? Supercar problems. Yeah. Plate stuck on. <laughs> Yeah. It's no R8. It's no R8. No, this, so, this is full-on race car. There's no luxury. These don't have traction control, ABS, cup holders, cruise control. They make them as light as they can. Because why? All right, G, I miss the scotch one so much. This is the best field I could find you to do this. This is the flattest part I could find. So, That's pretty close. What do you think of the second-gen Viper? It's straight trash. <laughs> like, I don't like it at all. That's because you like luxury cars. It's but no R8. It, it's a race car. Yeah, because race car, I got it. It's a race car. That's why it's not comfortable. That's why it's torquey. These cars set the bar. Carol Shelby had a part in building these. Yeah, still trash. <laughs> Graham doesn't like it. I love it. I've personally owned a yellow one. And uh, they're very cool. Lots of torque. Definitely feel like you're in a race car. Would not recommend trying to daily drive anywhere, but they're awesome. This one, the top actually comes off of. I'm getting hungry though. How are you feeling? Famished. Famished. Famished is hungry. Let's okay. go for lunch. Famished is at least a $12 lunch. Okay, let's take this back to August, give it to Matt, Spencer, or Mike, whoever we run into, and see if they'll let us use something cool to go for lunch. Hold on. How fing awesome is it that they're letting us use? these cars to drive because I'm bored. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like, it's pretty cool. 10 out of 10. Like I said, worst place to be stuck for a day. Right, yeah. Okay, let's get some food. Screw Air Canada. Yeah, actually let me get some montage here. I see you playing with that. Do you know what that is? It's a magnetic holder for your phone. Are you f No. Nope. Ejecto seat, cuz. No, it's not ejecto seat, toe. <laughs> okay. No. Nope. So what do you think? Pretty good? Okay. Sure. It's a Dodge product. Graham's not sold on it. Not I am. <gasps> they have a Bentley here. You should just drive that home. You can give that to Leah. Right. And sell the Tesla. That's a great plan, except for this is not going to be as fuel efficient as a Tesla. Well, because it <laughs> uses fuel. Amazing non-LP gated Gallardo. Amazing. SV Aventador, that's okay. You are in for a treat. 
because I stole Matt. Shakedown. Matt August's personal Lamb Lamborghini Urus. You ready? Ready. Have you been in a Lamborghini Urus? I have not. Today's a good day. Let's go. Steve, what are we driving? This is a 2020 Lamborghini Urus. It's Matt August's personal vehicle. And it is probably one of my favorite vehicles. You know what this is not? What's that? This is not a Dodge Viper. <laughs> no, it's not a Dodge Viper. This, I could get behind. This is you? This is far more me than the Dodge Viper. I don't understand. I thought the Dodge Viper was a nice luxury vehicle. Yeah, it had yeah. outdoor carpet on the door panels. Yeah. I brought you to a different part of Kelowna. This is actually one of my favorite parts of Kelowna. You can see how far away we are from the city. There's the bridge way back there, you see it? Yeah. So, and for those unaware, so my friend's house is actually just over here. This mountain was on fire not long ago. And this mountain was on fire not long ago. Could you imagine living here while this mountain's on fire? Like, I can't even fathom what people were thinking. The, uh, the famous, famous, Damon Fryer, I'm not gonna say what house is his, but lives over here. And uh, what a view, what a view. Isn't it hard to, look at, come here for a minute. Like, see, there's, how much land is here? Eight feet of flat land? Yeah. <laughs> they built a house on it, like, crazy Why to not? think. Yep, crazy to think. So, anyway, what do you think of Matt August's Lamborghini Urus? Well, it's no Viper. It's no Viper. You weren't it's a no fan, Viper. Eh? I was not a fan of the Viper. This is probably one of my favorite vehicles, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. It's, uh, they're amazing. They're gorgeous. They're everything a person could ever want. seriously montage this vehicle all day but let me tell you why I think this is probably the coolest SUV first of all the fit and finish is unreal but I love all of the little carbon accents everywhere unbelievable the wheels are awesome I love the calipers I love the white side love the carbon mirror caps I actually put some of those on my personal vehicle the white interior is awesome more carbon greeting you more carbon on the wheel love all the little switches down there Tons of space in the rear, and I love the bucket seat look in the back of these. More carbon on the door, more carbon over the rear wheel well, more carbon on the spoiler, more carbon to accent the Lamborghini symbol. Awesome? Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Now that's how you get to lunch. Shout out to Matt August for that one, hey? Yep. Yep. So you haven't been to, uh, listen, now you see why I call it kitchen, right? Yeah. It says central on the other side. It's my bad. All right, you see Nathan and Kendall here yet? No. Me neither. We only gave him like three and a half hours heads up though. Right? <laughs> How were we looking for this place yesterday and we drove by it? Well, because I was looking for something that said kitchen. Well, it says central up there, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I yeah, li literally drove right by here. Right. My guy, you didn't even stop to wash your car. Didn't have to give you no time to. I gave you like three hours. What time did we come? Like, I don't know. We stopped by there like what, 10 30? Uh, maybe 11. 11? That's <laughs> yeah, only like four Kendall's hours. Kendall's ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, boy Nathan, get it, buddy. How is it? It's good. Why? There's green shit on your plate, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that there? It's called discipline. You know who invented salad? I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> See, Kendall knows how to eat. He's got it down. Graham, does, Graham doesn't mess around. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? So good. So good? It always is here, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. How was it? It was good. Good? Just good? Good. 
really good. Dodge Viper good. Really or good. <laughs> Lamborghini Urus good. Urus. Urus good. Urus good. That's the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me, what okay. do you got here? G63 squared. Right. So you know the original squares, they came in a 550. They weren't right. for G63. So we had three of these built. This is one of three in the world with portal axles. Portal uh, axles? Yes. Wow. So portal axles, um, obviously the twi the bi-turbo V8. And you get lots of carbon, the big wheels, the lift. This thing's pretty crazy. Cool. Yeah. Thank Take you. it for a drive. Don't scratch it. I'm just gonna drive to McKinley Beach and back. Is that cool? Oh yeah, for sure. Good. No four by four. Yeah, bro. I'll drive it up the mountain where I took the Hummer. Yeah. <laughs> do not. Do not. <laughs> I will. Okay. okay. Um, my McDonald's is in there as I keep this nice figure. Belly slap? Yeah, belly slap. Yeah, I've, I've slapped it so much. I've slapped it so much it's getting bruised now. That's yeah, almost going away. It's yeah. almost going away. Yeah. But you keep eating what I eat, it'll stay there forever. Well, we're just at Central, so it's not far off from that. What'd you have? I had the burger like usual. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So good. <laughs> it's so good. So good. Okay, okay, so I'll give you the key. Okay. Be careful because they're super expensive. Yes, I'll be very careful. Be careful. And uh, my McDonald's garbage, I'll take it out for you. I'm not. See, that wasn't mine. No, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you got a salad there. Yeah, I did. Yeah. The salad, the apple caramel salad or whatever it's called. Should I get Mike Dawson to throw a plate on it? Is there no plate on I it? I didn't see a plate when I walked back here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's get okay. a plate on it. So as fun as the G-Wagon would have been, they couldn't find a plate for it and actually they need it. So I guess settle for this amazing 21 R8 right. rear wheel drive. Yeah. I mean, it's a rough game, but we're just going to have to rough, do it. Rough life. Rough life. I mean, rough stuck life. in Kelowna. Let's, uh, why don't you get in? Let's go for a drive. Well, G, I would have to say that was probably the best drive down here today. That, uh... Yeah, that, that was no Viper. It's uh, but, no uh, Viper. I am absolutely blown away by the performance of this. It was nuts. So this is a 21 rear wheel drive um, Audi R8, 532 horsepower, and uh, it moves. It moves. So there's that. Why? Is it supposed to rain today, buddy? Uh, it wasn't. But I'm sure if you go wash the C8, it will. It will rain. Unreal performance in this car. Unreal. And how much was it? About 200 and... 220. 220,000. 20. I think. Unreal. Bargain. It's a bargain. Bargain. Cheap. In, uh, in other news, I've decided that I'm going to give up my day job and move on a boat. That boat right there. All right, what do you think? Montage of the car? Successful day driving cars that weren't mine. We're gonna leave this thing with the boys here and we fly home tomorrow. So I left the key with the boys. Would anybody believe that this thing is street legal? I mean, I love it. It's pretty much a Dodge Viper, hey Graham? Did you see the interior? Might as well be. Come look at the interior. I saw the interior, it looks yeah. like a Dodge Viper. It's crazy. Pretty wild looking. Yeah. You're not playing any volleyball. It's going to rain right away. See you later, baby face. <laughs> Anybody looking for a Hummer? Mine's still sitting over there for sale. So uh, you can hit up August Luxury Motor Cars here and uh, do a guy a solid. So? So? Back at the hotel. Back at the hotel because we're stuck in Kelowna. Stuck in Kelowna. But right. overall, it was a good day. Right? Stuck in Kelowna. Yeah. Drove four cars? Four cars. Four cars. Yeah. That's not a bad day. Three cars. Three cars. Three cars. Three supercars. Three supercars and a super SUV. No, three supercars and a Viper. <laughs> well, it's an early morning. We were up at uh, four o'clock, just about ready to leave for the airport, catch our shuttle. It was August. And uh, definitely got some coffee. It's hard to believe 
That black building over there has almost fifty million dollars in cars in it. Hard to comprehend that. Man, what a beautiful morning. Nice sky. Look at not a, not even a little bit of cloud or uh, wind. There's the important stuff right down there. Yeah. See it? See it. Yeah. But again, Steve, the question is. Yeah. What happens in Calgary? What happens in Calgary? Yeah. What happens in Calgary? What happens in Calgary stays in Calgary. So for those wondering, obviously you know from earlier in this video, we missed our flight in Calgary. Well, they, or sorry. No, we didn't miss it. We didn't, we didn't miss it. it, it was canceled. Air Canada phoned us. And now they've delayed our next flight 45 minutes, which leaves us when we get to Calgary, all of 25 minutes to get across the massive airport. So hopefully our gates are close. That works out good. But for now, let's get the good stuff. Starbucks saves the day again. Isn't it nice out here? It is. Good morning. Cloudy. A little cloudy, yep. Beautiful out, nonetheless. Salty. Let the Calgary show that? begin. What the hell is the format? You one of these. Yeah. You get your running shoes on there, you get your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> 